Hello and welcome to second semester grammar handout number one. Okay, so we are going to go over other comma rules. So last semester we did comma rules with compound and complex sentences. Now we're also going to go other. Uh, we're going to go over other comma rules as well. So comma rule number one: using a comma when you are listing words in a sentence. So anytime you have items in a, in a, in a list, you need commas to separate them. So anytime you have items in a list you need commas this can refer this can refer to like it you can be like listing actions listing food so i'm going to just give two examples so one example would be i need cake comma candy comma and flour okay so see when you're listing items you need commas to separate that okay now, you can also be listing actions like I like to jog, swim, and sleep. So anytime you're listing a series of things, whether it's a series of nouns, series of verbs, anytime you are listing stuff, you need commas to separate that. Okay, you also need a comma when you have an introductory word or phrase in a sentence. Okay? So you need a comma when you have an introductory when you're beginning your sentence with an introductory word or phrase. Okay. Big note. Okay. You know you have an intro word or phrase if an independent clause follows that intro word or phrase. Okay? So you know you have an intro word or phrase when independent clause follows when an independent clause follows okay so notice with so let's look, let's look at the first one however I still need to do my homework here you have an intro word notice that right after your intro word you have I still need to do my homework so you have a complete sentence following that intro word, okay? Same thing here. At the store, I bought several cakes. You know that at the store and while running, you know that these are intro phrases. So these are intro phrases. And you know that they're intro phrases because you essentially have a complete sentence following each intro phrase. Like if I took out at the store, if I took out at the store, I bought several cakes is still a complete sentence. If I took out while running, I encountered a dog is still a complete sentence. So this is very important. So you know you have an intro word or phrase starting a sentence when you have a complete sentence following that intro word or phrase. Okay, if you think you have an intro word but a complete sentence is not following that intro word, then you actually don't have, then you're, then you are incorrect. Okay, so just make sure that if you think something is an intro word or an intro phrase, a complete sentence has to follow that. Okay, number three. Use a comma when you have an interrupter or non-essential phrase. Okay? So interrupter or non-essential phrase, they're exactly as it sounds. So interrupter or non-essential phrase, okay, they literally interrupt a sentence they interrupt the middle the sentence okay but they are not necessary to the sentence but they are not necessary for the sentence to make sense okay here's a rule of thumb you want to ask yourself whether or not you can remove a group of word remove a word or a group of words from the sentence and still retain the meaning. So if you can still retain the meaning after removing a word or group of words, then you have either an interrupter or a non-essential phrase and thus you need commas to set it off. Okay? So interrupters and non-essential phrases, again, they, they interrupt the sentence but they're not necessary for the sentence. Like You could take out the interrupter or non-essential phrase and it would still make sense. So rule of thumb, if you can take it out and, it's, and the sentence still makes sense, you need commas around the interrupter. 
So make yourself a note there. So note, commas go on both sides of the interrupters. So commas go on both sides of the interrupter. Okay. So for example, Elizabeth, an Olympic swimmer, is a devout Christian. An Olympic swimmer is a non-essential phrase. I, I can take out a, a lip, an Olympic swimmer and the sentence still makes sense. If I took out an Olympic swimmer, I would still have Elizabeth as a devout Christian, which perfectly makes sense. The next one, while Leslie is motivated, her sister, however, is extremely lazy. Here, however, is my interrupter. However, it interrupts the sentence, but it's not actually necessary for the sentence to make sense. If I took however out, my sentence would be, while Leslie is motivated, her sister is extremely lazy. So, however, interrupts the sentence. Okay, it comes in the middle of the sentence, but it's not necessary for the sentence to make sense. All right. Okay, so now you're going to do a practice. What you're going to do is you're going to write in where the sentence needs commas, okay? Now, it's, you might need more than one comma, and you might end up using more than one comma rule. So you can use more than one comma rule for each of these examples. I want you to try your best on this, and again, like look through your comma rules carefully, and then we will go, and then we will go over it. God bless you. Have a good day.